Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how to use skip lagged. Right, so skip lagged.com. And if you're unfamiliar with the term skip lagged, then um, basically it is and a situation or a practice where is as a passenger you would book a longer flight you know to get to a destination but then actually get off before the um, second leg of your flight because what happens sometimes is a flight is cheaper from point a to point c and you just need to be at point b so let me show you how to use skip lag. So what we're going to do here is on their homepage, they have flights, stays, cars, rewards, and deals. And these are all very, very awesome. So while we're in flights, you can go ahead and choose where you are leaving from. So we're going to choose JFK over here. And then you can choose your destination, right? So you can choose absolutely anywhere you'd like to go. Um, let us go and visit Greece for an example let's let's dream okay now once you click on the um, departure date and the arrival date um, you can see that there are numbers underneath the dates now these are um, more or less going to be your pricing sort of you know strategy so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're choosing sort of like the lowest price if we're looking for the lowest cost however if you are not leaving on the 3rd of april of course you need to make sure that you're um, entering in a day that you are actually leaving so we're going to just leave it like that and you're going to tap on search flights now basically what happens is it gives you a list of all the flights that are leaving from the jfk international airport and um, going all the way to greece now what you can see here is it's starting to load and it will take some time and currently the view that you're seeing is on the left hand side you see it says price the current view is from lowest price okay so you can see here um you'll be leaving at 12 30 a.m and this is now what your trip is going to look like and here you can see that's when you're going to be arriving now the whole idea behind skip lag is that let's say perhaps you are actually going to um one of the connecting flights so you will actually just stop here and not continue to your destination that you put in over here right so that's that's the whole idea behind skip lag and i know that it's frowned upon um, by certain people there's a lot of lawsuits and stuff going on um, however to make a savvy travel you want to save some bucks i don't feel that there's anything really wrong with not doing the last leg of your flight so you can see here i've selected this flight and it gives me a timeline as to how i'm going to be going through that flight now you can see that there are more than enough options when going through here and you can see that you know um, for example like this one over here um, there are quite a few stops in between you know so so you know that's how you would sort of go through skip lag and look for flights the other thing is on the left hand side you'll find um, if you select a flight you'll have the self transfer and then there's also the skip lag right so if you want to know more about self transfer and skip lag these are features that skip lag have actually included in their website you can read up about it right over here they give you a link on this page and um, the self transfers as well as the virtual transfers or um, the hidden city flying these are things that you can sort of learn a little bit more about on the actual website now we're going to go into the stays over here you can see it says stays and here's how you book accommodation so literally all you need to be doing here is typing in where you want to be staying so of course we're in greece in athens and then the day that we are um going we're going to go on the fifth and we're going to come back on the seventh just for example and you can hit search and here you will see every um, hotel or accommodation that is available within that time period they also give you a rating and they give you the price per night as well as the total okay and they give you your tax and your fees so you can see what the available rooms look like you also see um here 
they are and the details of each offer so you can see here's free internet here there's only one room left at that place so as you go down you can see what is actually available again you need to go ahead and look for the sort of best deal on the left hand side of course you can um, set some of your filters so if you're only wanting to be um, staying at a three star or a five star you can select that if you need certain amenities you can go ahead um, if you're only wanting to deal with certain hotel chains you can go ahead and filter that out now let's say you need to travel while you are on holiday so here if we go into cars um, you can actually rent a car so if you go up on the main page to cars you will see here um, you have your pickup location now of course you know you will have to put in whatever location you know you'd be in um, so I'm just gonna go Athens International Airport and then you'll have to put in your your day okay so we're gonna just hit the 23rd over here and then also of course your time and then when you will be returning the vehicle so however long you're going to be having this vehicle and then of course the time that you are going to be returning now of course depending on what time you are returning the vehicle uh, that will also change the um, amount that you're going to be paying so if you tap on advanced search over here um, you can filter by type of car and then also by the company that you would like to rent from and you can just go ahead hit search you can see over here now that it has started to give me some uh, results as you can see um, from five dollars per day it's absolutely fantastic it's really not a a huge rate and you know depending on what your needs are you can choose the company that you want to go ahead and do this with um, you can also just sort that by uh, your pricing and then also you got your filters again on the left hand side you can change how your search results are actually displayed now going in again to this home page there are two things that we need to have a look at because when we're traveling we want to save money we've got rewards and we've got deals now the rewards section is the more you deal through skip lag the more a reward you get so of course you get a sign up bonus it's ten dollars and here you can spend this um towards any of your flats and your hotels okay then you know whatever else you're doing um you can go ahead and you can earn more credits so if you are going to um, use this a lot then you can definitely earn a lot of credits while you are using skip lagged and while you are traveling so you can really save a few bucks while you are moving around now the deals on the other hand if you go into deals this is more of the deals that are happening in and around the travel scene so all you need to do is sign up and you'll get your um, your newsletters telling you what is going on uh, maybe you can personalize these um, deals so you know obviously they're not going to send you um, emails and newsletters of things that are happening outside of your travel area so you can see just for example there are a few deals over here so just um off the top over here new york to miami and 19 percent off uh, jacksonville to charlotte 55 percent off that's amazing that is really a great deal so um i think that using their uh, their deals and their rewards program is absolutely fantastic now what you would do is if you're in rewards you would go ahead and you would tap on your um, profile on the right hand side and in here you will be able to get a personalized um, link so that you can share this link so every time you share this link and others use the link to um, book through skip lag you will get your um, your rewards or your credits back onto your skip lagged account now one of the other things that i just do want to mention in terms of traveling is when you are traveling the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are booking your flights directly with the um the airline because you will get um a few added benefits um you know there's no third party or anything like that so definitely go ahead and book your flights directly with the airline the second thing you want to do is maybe um use an incognito window um when you are searching for 
uh, your flights and your travel and so forth because what happens is when you are searching for flights um these airlines want to see that you're a new traveler so they want to give you a better deal and deals and flight prices and travel prices change like every hour so make sure that you are using um your incognito tab so they don't know if you've traveled before or not so there's no real sort of um connection to you being an avid traveler and then the second thing is airlines as well as um accommodation as well as car rental companies may charge different prices for uh, different countries so maybe use a vpn a vpn is a great way to um, get better pricing and book uh, cheaper travels cheaper flights cheaper car rentals and a great vpn that i like to use when i need one is um holla vpn it's fantastic it's an extension it's a chrome extension you can go and get it from the chrome store it's free and you just add it on there and every time you want to use it you just tap on it it'll open it up and you can do everything you need to do through holla then we go if this was a helpful guide please do drop us a big old thumbs up we will see you next time happy traveling